Hello, welcome to Lady Scorpius Tarot. I'm your host, Lady Scorpius. Today I'll be reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2023. This will be a three-card general love reading, so take the messages that resonate, leave the rest behind. As always, if you guys would like to see what's going on personally in your love life, you can check out my website, LadyScorpiusTarot.com, so you can book yourself a reading. If you guys are wanting emergency reading, you guys can reach me directly at 202-599-7705. All information is in the description box below. You guys, check out my website. Again, um, if you want to book a reading, I offer several different readings on there. I also have some products on there, spiritual products, candles, um, spiritual baths. My spiritual protection spray is on my website right now, y'all. So check it out. Money, oil, love, oil. Check it out, y'all. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. This is for my uh, Virgos. I'm going to be using my old school love deck, the love oracles. Um, and we're going to be getting into it and see what's going on for y'all, okay, for the month of April. Once again, y'all, please like, subscribe, and share the channel. All right. Universal Spirit, Angels, Sending Guys, and Masters, Gods, and Goddesses. Please give me messages for my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2023, surrounding their love life. What is the overall energy surrounding my Virgo's love life? What advice do you have for them, Spirit? What should they know about their love life? Give me messages out of love life and clarity for my Virgo's Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2023. Give me three cards for Virgo, Spirit. What much should my Virgo's know surrounding their love life? What advice do you have for my Virgo's? Surrounding love life. What is the energy surrounding Virgos at this time? Ooh, too many cards. All right, but we popped those. These two came out. All right, give me one more card for my Virgo. Ooh, okay. So we had some extra cards, but I only want one. Give me one more card. So we want one card only for Virgo. Okay, there we go. Ooh, so the overall energy is soulmate, Virgo. It says, soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate, okay? So, Spirit is saying that, yes, if you are unsure of the person that you're connected to right now or you're feeling these romantic feelings for, if you're not sure what this connection is, Spirit is saying this is a soulmate connection, okay? Some of you guys, maybe you're not talking to this person because right behind that card, we have a special love. So, Spirit is saying go, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. If you have not talked to this person in a while, I feel like you guys... Um, have a heavy chemistry with this person. You have a lot of passion for this person, a lot of love for this person, but maybe you guys haven't really been on the best of terms, Virgo. Maybe you haven't really been speaking to this person, um, vice versa. Maybe they're not speaking to you, whatever the case may be. But Spirit is saying, you know, this is your soulmate. So if you want to bring the connection together, Spirit is saying, go ahead and make the expression, express how you feel, show effort, make take action towards what you want because this is your soulmate, okay? Some of you guys might be in the separation right now. All right. So the first card we have is deception. Mm. Second card we have is finances and career. And the third card we have is flirt. So where it goes right now, you guys could be connected to a soulmate energy. Whereas though, it could be some type of deception going on in this connection. If it's not cheating, okay, this person could just be wearing a false self mask. Maybe they're not telling you how they feel about you right now. Maybe they're not expressing their true um, feelings or their intentions. Or it's just maybe something that's not being said. I feel like it's some type of hidden um, information it could possibly be a secret that's even being kept from you. Someone is just wearing a false self mask in this relationship. They're not being themselves. Rather, this is you, Virgo. You don't feel like you're being your true self to this person or you're hiding something or you're not speaking on how you truly feel about this connection um, or this is your person. Someone is definitely um, being deceptive, okay? And some of you guys, it might be a form of cheating or a third-party situation. If not, like this is somebody just hiding their true selves from you. Um, they could be wearing a false self mask. It's like Dr. Jekyll with Mr. Hyde. Like, <laughs> it could be that type of energy. But, you know, some of you guys, this could definitely be a third party. We have finances and career, okay? So, and like I said, with third party, it, it could be like family even involved. That's, you know, that can be hindering this connection. And, you know, maybe somebody's not speaking how they feel about it. But I just feel like it's definitely um, some type of deception. But let's go forward. We have... Um, finances and career so financial issues are a factor right now surrounding your love life okay so maybe some of you guys are in separation from a soulmate maybe you guys could have like lost your job or maybe quit a job 
or you know maybe you could be like saving you could have got like bombarded with like a huge bill or something that you had to pay off some type of debt that you guys are trying to overcome i feel like even this is you or the person you're connected to somebody's having financial issues right now and that's this is one of the main reasons why they can't come towards you right now virgo or you can't come towards this person because they're saying that like financial issues are a factor so maybe that's your main focus maybe some of you guys are trying to get your money together you're trying to get your money up you're trying to save you're trying to make ends meet you're trying to rob <laughs> peter to pay paul for some of you guys i just feel like it's just a lot going on financially and you know in as far as your career maybe some of you guys are in between jobs or in between careers trying to figure things out um looking for a job i just feel like it's a lot going on right now but some of you guys are missing this connection you guys at one point in time had like you felt like this person you know maybe it's a lot of flirtatious you know you guys were very flirtatious with each other it was a lot of light-hearted you know, energy surrounding you and this person. Like, I feel like you guys just had, like, a like a deep chemistry, like, a, a bond, like, a soulmate energy. Maybe you guys feel like you guys known each other in a past life. You could have known this person for a while. Um, but I just feel like whatever this is, like, Spirit is saying it's time for you to send your lighthearted energy to others. Maybe you guys are needing to flirt. If you haven't talked to this person, maybe you're missing them flirting with you. You're missing the love or the affection that they used to give you. Um, maybe, you know, they used to give you, like, because this girl right here, she's kissing the guy on the forehead. So maybe you missed the forehead kisses that this person used to give you or vice versa. Maybe you guys used to spend a lot of time together, you know, a lot of quality time together. I feel like you guys are missing that. So Spirit is saying, like, if you're wanting this energy, if you're wanting to reconnect to your soulmate, some of you guys are needing to, you know, go ahead and flirt or extend the lightheartedness. But I feel like some of you guys, you just can't right now. For others of you, it's because of financial um, issues, like career financial issues that you're focusing on right now. And it's like kind of like hindering you from going towards this person. All right. Maybe some of you guys just don't have the money to take this person out on a date or to make it work or vice versa. Maybe this person doesn't have the finances for you, Virgo. Just take what resonates, flip the roads as they may. But I do feel like you have a lot of chemistry with this person. So let's go ahead and get into it and see what's going on and clarify these cards. Spirit, clarify deception. Why is deception here for my Virgos for the month of April 2023 surrounding love life? Why is deception here? Oh, okay, we have some cards that popped out. So we have the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. We have Virgo energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We have the Star card, Aquarius energy. So some of you guys, it could have been some type of deception that your person could have found out about. Or you could have found out this person's being deceptive to you and you decided to cut them out. I feel like for my Virgo men, you could definitely be dealing with a woman that could be an air sign, it could be Aquarius, could be an earth sign, so it's Virgo Capricorn. It doesn't have to be. They can just have that in their chart. For my Virgo men, some of you guys have been dealing with a woman that, you know, she was a no-nonsense type of lady. Like, I feel like the person you were connected to, they were very intellectual, very logical, very wise, very intuitive. Um, and they were very, you know, graceful when it comes to cutting shit out their life. Uh, this person was like no-nonsense, so if they found out about anything that was like a lie or a secret or anything deceptive they're going to cut out the bullshit and become single i feel like this person that you're connected to is just working on being single right now with the nine of pentacles they're focusing on them they're healing with the star card and this is not the person you're dealing with i feel like maybe this is you so something got cut out okay some type of truth was revealed or somebody got clarity about the situation and decided to cut something out rather this is you or the person and right now i'm just feeling a sense of like a single energy so like you could be really abundant on your own virgo or the person you're connected to to like they're abundant on their own they can be single they can have their own home and a house very fruitful good job whatever the case may be i just feel like they know that you know something was happening in divine timing or you could have even felt like this situation was going to like maybe end um in divine timing or maybe you knew that maybe some type of healing needed to come about in order for you guys to come together because you haven't been really exposing your truth to this person virgo maybe you haven't really truly been expressing this person expressing the truth to this person but the star card is all about you know guidance spirit trying to lead you guys like to some type of divine lesson this is like divine order so things are happening in divine timing this is you guys healing being patient with yourself using you know your intuition um balancing out your emotions okay and staying grounded at this time okay and i feel like this is not like this is definitely even, this happened to you, Virgo, right? So you got cut out from somebody and decided to be, and they decided to be single and independent and focus on themselves so they can heal and nurture themselves and, you know, whatever the case may be. Because I feel like this could have been a painful situation because this person, you guys were soulmates. If this, like, this person could do this to you or maybe, Virgo, this was done to you and you're doing this. You're cutting out something or you're being, speaking your truth and being honest about something that was deceptive. 
um, between you and the soulmate. Maybe some truth that you found out about. Maybe some of you guys are just even wanting to be single. Maybe that's the real truth. Maybe you're really wanting to be truthful and say like, hey, I don't want this relationship no more or this connection. But I feel like you just really love this person. So maybe some of you guys are not really speaking how you truly feel. But with the star card being here, healing is here. Like, you know, spirit is saying that something needs to be healed. Clarify the star card for my Virgo surrounding deception for April for their love life 2023. All right. So, yeah, some of you guys are married to this person. We have the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You can be doing with another Earth sign. We have the Hierophant card, Aries, or Taurus energy. We have Gemini energy, the Lovers card. And we have Emperor, Taurus, Aries energy. Okay, so I feel like for some of you guys, some type of healing needs to happen in this marriage or this connection. Some of you guys, this is definitely a soulmate twin flame energy you have a lot of love for this person like i said you guys have a deep spiritual connection um it could be like a marriage <clears throat> a higher level commitment like a very sacred bond if you guys are not married it could be a sacred bond but i feel like maybe like somebody felt like it was an imbalance in this connection with the six of pentacles maybe something that needed to be balanced out maybe you or your partner was given to two different people someone was given to two different people rather this is like Virgo, you could have been with a person that was giving to you and a lot of other people, like family members or friends or maybe another third party, why they was in this marriage and things wasn't balancing out. Or maybe some of you guys was like <clears throat> trying to balance out the finances or balance out what you can give to this marriage or this connection. But I feel like maybe somebody also wanted to have control over the situation. So maybe somebody was, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all, maybe somebody um wanted to control the narrative of this marriage or this commitment. Okay, knowing that it needed to be a higher level commitment, knowing that something needed to be healed, but I feel like maybe a person was being unbalanced or they wasn't given to you equally or wasn't an equal give and take. I'm just feeling like it wasn't an equal give and take. Clarify the lover's card for Virgo. Why is the lover's card here for the surrounding their love life for the month of April? Clarify the lover's card. Why is the lover's card here? Okay, yeah, we have the seven of wands and the two of wands. Okay, yeah, so I feel like the lover's card being here, like somebody could have left this soulmate connection behind or this twin flame connection behind. What's the choice between two lovers? Some of you guys definitely was dealing with two different lovers, okay? Maybe a soulmate and a other person that you were in love with because I do see the six of pentacles, which is two people given to two different situations and then we had the lover's card and then we had the two of wands so somebody had to get left behind so virgo either you was connected to two soul to a soulmate and a karmic or you was connected to two people that you were in love with but one person was definitely a soulmate somebody that you know that was a divine connection or a sacred deep connection you shared with them a bond i just feel like you know it could have been a lot of like competition in this connection a lot of disappointments a lot of fights a lot of arguments or just people that was in this in this relationship whereas though this is family friends i just feel like it was a lot of shit going on like it was a battle you know you was overcoming a lot of obstacles when it came to this person or vice versa they felt like it was too much of an obstacle to be with you or to overcome with you and like, they could have felt like it was a lot of different people in this connection a lot of different opinions a lot of like they had to put up a fight to be with you or vice versa this could be how you feel i just feel like somebody feels like it was a lot of fight like, a lot of chaos, fighting, you know, different opinions, people all in this relationship, you know, drama, you know, and somebody was definitely feeling like they had to, like, be defensive, you know? It was a lot of defensive energy. Rather, this was you, Virgo, or your partner, the person you was connected to, right? And we had the two of wands. So, someone was wanting to, like, make a decision. Somebody is, like, trying to plan on if they what they should do. So, I do feel like somebody could have, like, took action towards leaving something behind or they know that they need to leave something behind because it's a lot of deception, going on surround this connection so i don't know if this past energy y'all or this is current energy right now but i do feel like someone needs to make a decision whether this is you or the person you're dealing with someone is going to make a decision to leave something behind and start something new some of you guys could be like leaving something behind and like moving away or traveling to something else or starting a new relationship or i just feel like some of you guys just could be like need to make a decision on what you're going to do if you're going to stay or go yeah we have a three three of pentacles here so this is you guys, this is like a decision you have to make surrounding a partnership. Do you want to build with this person? Do you want to grow with this person? Can you see yourself, you know, growing, building, being, like having a stable foundation with this person? Or are you going to leave it behind? Some of you guys have a major choice to make. All right. Clarify the Hereford card. Why is the Hereford card here? Yeah, we have the Three of Cups. Yeah, so this could be like a third party situation that happened within this marriage or like maybe a reunion. Let's see. Let's get another clarify. Give me another clarify for the Hereford card, Virgo. 
Ooh, we have the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Cups. So some of you guys are wanting to marry a person. You could be wanting to come back to this Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, after making the decision of you're going to leave somebody behind and come back to heal this after some deceptive shit to happen. I feel like some of you guys are wanting to reconcile. You want a reunion with this person. You're wanting to marry this person or be in a committed relationship or partnership with this person. We have the Ace of Wands. So we have a new beginning. So some of you guys could be wanting a new beginning with this Queen of Cups. Um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, male or female. You could be wanting to re reunite with this person. You could be missing this person with the Three of Cups. All right? But some of you guys needed to make a decision, you know? But I feel like the Ace of Wands, some of you guys also can be, like, wanting to reunite before this person starts something new with somebody else. Or this can be how they feel about you. Table resonates. There's a lot of different energy going on right now. What can you tell me about this Queen of Cups? Why is the Queen of Cups here for my Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April. 2023. Why is the Queen of Cups here? For my Virgos for the month of April 2023. Surrounding love life. Okay, we have the Justice card. Yeah, so this this water sign that you were dealing with, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, could be calling for karmic justice, or this could be you, Virgo. If you have a child with this person, maybe you could be a mom. Maybe some of you guys are calling for karmic justice, or you're wanting to get a divorce. <laughs> you know, maybe you are making the decision to leave something behind, or somebody's making the decision to leave you behind. Because they're looking at the offer of love that they gave you. Maybe they feel like it's, you're, you're not bringing new energy into this connection okay so maybe they're wanting to just start a new journey um with the ace of wands you know something passionate and new but i do feel like some of you guys it's like maybe something that needs to be balanced out with the justice card it's like some type of karmic justice is being played out right now okay someone is someone's karma is being served i'm seeing that why is the justice card here for virgo for the month of april 2023 love life yeah three of three of swords heartbreak pain regret somebody's feeling like they want to get divorced because they're tired of the heartbreak and pain or someone is leaving this connection with you virgo or this is to be how you feel but i feel like for my virgo men maybe you could be doing for scorpio woman scorpio cancer pisces this person could be, could be pulling back their energy and deciding to move away and start something new and passionate because they feel like they've been hurt and betrayed by this connection all right, it was a lot of juggling. Maybe they was waiting for a partnership or something to manifest and it just wasn't moving. And this person know that you guys are soulmates or twin flames. And for my Virgo woman, maybe this is what happened to you. Maybe some of you guys are wanting to get a divorce or leave something behind because you just feel like this person is just too much of a burden, um, too much pain, too much competition, too much work to keep this going, the risk of relationship or this marriage going. Maybe it could be a lot of different opinions in this connection. It could be some financial issues as well. Clarify financial. Ooh, let's get into it. Hold on, y'all. Clarify finances and career. Who we at? Clarify finances and career for Virgo. Yeah, some of you guys are feeling trapped. Maybe some of you guys are feeling stuck or trapped at a job. Or maybe finances. There's a lot of financial issues going on right now. And it's been affecting your mental health. You can be thinking about a lot of different shit right now. You can be feeling stuck. Maybe a lot of bills is piling up. Or maybe some of you guys are trying to come up with a financial plan. Why is um, finances and career here? For Virgos for the month of April 2023. Surrounding love. Likewise, finances and career here. Too many cards. Well, some of you guys are feeling left out in the cold with the five of cups. I mean, five of pentacles. Maybe some of you guys could have lost a job. Or you could be dealing with somebody that lost a job or doesn't have much. Or they can feel like you left them out in the cold. Yeah, we have the ten of pentacles. So this is going to be a marriage or a partnership. Somebody that you live with, have children with. Or, you know, like, married to. I feel like maybe some of you guys, it's like, you feel like you're married to this person. And you Maybe some of you guys are trying to keep it together because of the finances. But you're not in love with this person no more. Or someone is not accepting this offer. I feel like someone's wanting to take control of their life and move forward with their life and go towards happiness. And for some of my Virgo women, I feel like some of you guys might be mothers or whatever the case may be. Because this is your energy. I feel like maybe some of you guys are wanting to speak your truth about a soulmate connection or a marriage that you're in. You're feeling like it's lackluster. You're feeling like you don't. It's no much. It's the love is not the same no more some of you guys just want to take control of your life and start something new you know some of you guys could be wanting to travel have fun be free you know be optimism and i feel like maybe some of you guys haven't been speaking your truth to your partner about that that you want to end something or transform this connection um you guys might have children with this person so maybe you don't want to have them feeling left out in the cold that's why you haven't told them the truth all right but for others of you you could be dealing with a person like some of my virgo men maybe you guys are going through financial issues you love this person but some of you guys are definitely connected to a scorpio but i do feel like you love this person you have a lot of love for them um you guys feel like this is your soulmate but the truth is not like you guys need to speak the truth about you guys um 
having some financial issues, maybe surrounding maybe child support, a mother, or children, or something surrounding family. Um, this is why you're not giving the, your emotional offer to this person right now. This is why you're not really showing them that you're interested in them. Some of you guys are just going through a lot right now, feeling stuck in traps surrounding finances and burdens and children. All right. Yeah, some of you guys are just trying to get back on your state, st get back stable. Okay, some of you guys definitely do for Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some of you guys are trying to focus on your stability right now. You're trying to figure out how you can be stable again. But I find a King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here for my Virgos for the month of April 2023? Yeah, you up in your head tonight. You up in your head tonight about your stability, about your money, your finances, your home, maybe your children. Some of you guys can be even be isolated from people. All right, um, because it's like a lot of fears or things that you're going through right now internally that you're not exposing right now. It could be some type of secrets as well. I feel like something could have suddenly happened in your life, a sudden shake up or change that happened in your life. And you could be keeping a, your distance from people because you don't want people to know that you're going through all this shit. But the spirit is saying you need to speak your mind. You need to express your love or express what you're going through. This person can, will understand, Virgo. Um, for the ones that want to make your work with the soulmate. But for others of you, if you want to walk away and you want to be free, it's time for you to be honest with, this, with your partner. Clarify the flirt card. Why is the flirt card here for Virgo? Yeah, Ace of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Some of you guys are wanting a new beginning. Either you want a renewal in this connection, in this love, or you want a new relationship or a new partner is coming towards you, okay? Possibly Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. But I do feel like some of you guys could be like wanting to move away, um, starting new love, or maybe your partner that you were connected to after all this ended, they decided to move away and go towards something new and abundant with a new lover, okay? And this could leave you feeling regretful or feeling like, like damn, that's petty. They did a one-up on me. Like Some of you guys are feeling like it's like, like tick for tax, a lot of tick for tax shit going on. Maybe somebody is flirting with people behind your back, Virgo. Maybe you found out your person that you try to, I guess, wanted to mend things with. They they could be deceptive and going towards something new. Or this could be you, Virgo. Take what resonates. Maybe you guys are wanting to, but you're realizing this person is already dealing with somebody with the page of cups. You could be wanting to make an apology, or you're waiting for somebody to give you an apology. But I feel like this person could be already occupied with somebody else. Spirit is wanting you to balance yourself out, stay grounded, stay balanced. Okay. Um, it's a lot of sneaky energy. I feel like you guys are just needing to really cleanse, do a spiritual cleanse. You guys need to meditate. Spirit is saying it's time for you to start a new chapter, right? It's also time for you to stand your ground and be honest about what you got going on or express what's going on so things can change so you can go through a transformation, okay? Because I feel like with the death card being here, some type of spiritual rebirth is happening to you. You guys are going through all this shit because Spirit is saying it's time to transform your life. And it's time for you guys to renew your life, okay? And with endings comes new beginnings, okay? So... Talk for you guys to get out your head and speak the truth, okay? Give me a crystal card for my Virgos for the month of, oh, okay, April. We got Sh Shatakite. Shatakite. I never heard of that before, but it says many of us have hidden psychic abilities, hidden in a primal area of our brains that we can no longer access. This stone speaks to that area via vibrations. Uh, Shatukite protects your mind during channeling and meditation. Its high vibration creates a strong physical psychic shell around you. So some of you guys are needing to get this stone. Like I said, you guys are channeling right now. You guys need to use your intuition. You guys are needing to meditate as well. If you would like to get the stone, it's spelled S H A T T U C K I T E. All right. So this is going to help you with um protecting your mind, your and channeling your thoughts when you're meditating and stuff like that. I'm um, pulling out your um intuition more. You know your psychic abilities. All right. So that's what I have for you guys. Ooh, leave a comment below. You guys are going through a karmic cycle right now with this world card. You guys are very emotionally confused right now, but it's time for you guys to walk away from something where someone could have walked away from this situation because of the emotional confusion. Whatever it is, is the secrets or this shit will be revealed this month, okay? Or going towards a new month. And you guys will finally be able to